I just didn't want to put my family's life on the line. Mm, so you were worried about him coming to get you? Yeah, like everybody else is. Mm. Wow. Jay Z was the last person to see Big L alive. Wait, so this Big L person is not living on this earth no more? He's been dead for years. Jaguar alleges that Jay Z also plays a part in grooming young girls in the early 90s, such as Foxy Brown and Aaliyah to name a few, and you know who else, but I can't say her name because her fans are gonna go crazy in my comments. Jaguar Wright is once again making ways in the industry, drawing attention for her fearless revelations about long standing issues within the music scene. Recently, she's been spotlighting Jay Z, alleging that he attempted to silence her by threatening her family. This comes amidst Jay-Z's efforts to maintain a low profile, especially following the controversies involving Diddy. It seems Jay-Z is banking on people forgetting about his long-standing relationship with Diddy, but Jaguar Wright is not letting up anytime soon. The whole mantra, can't stop, won't stop, is like, you gotta be relentless, you gotta have a bit of crazy, you can't take no for an answer, you gotta make it happen, he embodies that. However, Jaguar isn't letting this slide. She's calling out Jay-Z, suggesting he's just as questionable, if not worse than Diddy. Rumors swirl about Jay-Z employing shady tactics, including intimidation and mysterious disappearances of people who cross him. Jaguar even admits to feeling fearful for her family after exposing supposed secrets Jay-Z wanted buried. But did Jay-Z truly attempt to erase Jaguar from the music scene? And why hasn't he pursued legal action against her for defamation? It's a complex situation that warrants closer examination. Let's delve into the details. I'ma tell everybody about Big L, Sean. Big L? I would just rather do it on the stand, Sean. Hmm. Please sue me. I wanna go to court. Recent events have placed Scene Diddy comms under intense scrutiny, with lawsuits pouring in from all directions. However, amidst the chaos surrounding Diddy's downfall, it's crucial not to overlook the shadowy allegations that have trailed his close associate, Jay-Z, throughout his career. Despite facing disturbing accusations over the years, Jay-Z has largely remained unscathed in the public eye, perhaps sheltered by his wife's formidable public image and devoted fanbase. Standing in stark opposition to this silence is Jaguar Wright, a figure who has persistently called out Jay-Z's alleged misdeeds. Unlike many who merely echo rumors, Jaguar boasts first-hand experience, having worked closely with Jay-Z during his formative years in the music industry. She even featured as a background singer on his infamous 2001 MTV Unplugged album. Additionally, Jaguar reportedly shared a romantic relationship with the late rapper Big L, a Harlem icon who faced setbacks in his career, including being dropped by Columbia Records in 1996. Big L's subsequent negotiations with Rock A Fella Records were cut short by his tragic death in a drive-by shooting, an event that remains shrouded in mystery. Jaguar Wright has not minced her words, suggesting a pattern of nefarious activities surrounding Jay-Z's ascent to fame. In a widely circulated interview, she implied that Jay-Z systematically eliminated his competition to secure his position at the top of the music industry. Central to her narrative is the belief that Big L's untimely demise was not an isolated incident, but rather the first in a series of suspicious deaths linked to Jay-Z's rise to prominence. Amidst the swirling allegations and unanswered questions, Jaguar Wright stands as a polarizing figure. While some dismiss her as a mere attention seeker and conspiracy theorist, others view her as a courageous truth teller in an industry fraught with deception and manipulation. Regardless of one's stance, her claims raise troubling questions about the darker undercurrents of the music business and the lengths to which some may go to secure power and success. I saw Jay-Z or even heard him spit a rhyme was at an MC battle, street battle in New York, but he didn't show up as Jay-Z, he didn't show up as the hottest rapper on the street, he showed up as a nigga that was with Big L. Rest For in those peace. of you. Rest in peace, Big L. Rest in peace, Big L. That dopest, was the one of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay Z on. Without question. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay Z. And then. Jaguar's remarks apparently struck a nerve with Jay Z, leading him to allegedly attempt to intimidate her and her family, sending a clear message to stay silent on a sensitive subject. His past association with R. Kelly, a convicted offender. 
Background information suggests Jay-Z's rumored involvement with several young women in the industry, including Foxy Brown, Alia, and Tyra Marie. Additionally, there are claims that Jay-Z's relationship with Beyoncé began when she was just 16, although Beyoncé later stated they didn't start dating until she was 18. Interestingly, Jay-Z mentioned meeting Beyoncé a decade prior during an interview with Charlie Rose in 2017, prompting speculation about the timeline of their relationship. That, however long she's been recording, that's, that's when I met her. Uh, well, don't you remember how long it was? Yeah, when I met her. I mean, was it five uh, years ago? Or was it? I met her ten years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, did you say to yourself at that time, "Wow"? I, I said, "Yeah, she's that's a fantastic uh, talent." That was that what you said? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of gossip surrounding R. Kelly, with some people suggesting that Jay Z may have been involved in Aaliyah's demise. The rumor mill suggests that Aaliyah rejected Jay-Z, opting for Dame Dash instead, which allegedly made Jay's jealous. It's worth noting that R. Kelly illegally married the young Aaliyah using a fake ID. Very close is my best friend. Yeah. Oh, now who found her in the whole wide world? Um, I found Leah. As a matter of fact, Barry Hankerson, my manager, who's her uncle, uh, told me to go up to Detroit and hear her sing. Once I got up to Detroit, I didn't have to hear her sing because she was glowing. According to Dane Dash, even after Jay-Z learned about R. Kelly's actions towards Aliyah, he continued to support him. They even released a joint album titled The Best of Both Worlds in the same year that Aliyah tragically passed away in a plane crash in the Bahamas. Another surprising revelation is that during that year, Jay-Z also publicly acknowledged Beyoncé as his girlfriend, confirming their relationship. Dame Dash, observing Jay-Z's refusal to sever ties with R. Kelly, despite the harm he caused Aaliyah, began to question Jay-Z's moral compass. You know, the tapes came out, so karmically it, was, it couldn't breathe. It already destroyed, but then years later they tried to do the tour. Um, the best of both. The best yeah, of but it still didn't work out. But you notice I wasn't a part of any of that, but, and the karma happens, but the thing I didn't understand is I was like, I know I'm not fucking with that. And because of the moral challenge and him choosing one way i knew morally we weren't the same right. so to me rockefeller was the <laughs> funk it was over right. i couldn't fuck with it it was something that to me was just like not to say unforgivable but un i couldn't understand it you know what i'm saying and then i didn't understand how people didn't un I, I thought well then the people aren't gonna have that but nobody said nothing in the same year that alia tragically passed away beyonce's solo career skyrocketed some have speculated that Jay-Z, who was romantically linked with Aaliyah before she chose to be with Dame Dash, might have been involved in Aaliyah's untimely demise, potentially to pave the way for Beyonce's rise to stardom as the reigning princess of R&B. Yeah, she saw Jay-Z or even heard him spit a rhyme was at an MC battle, street battle in New York, but he didn't show up as Jay-Z, he didn't show up as the hottest rapper on the street, he showed up as the nigga that was with Big L. Rest in, peace. rest in peace, Big L. Rest in peace, Big L. That the dopest, was the one of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay Z on. Without question. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay Z. And then. Jaguar also revealed another aspect of the situation, noting that once Big L was no longer in the picture, Jay Z began associating himself with major players in the industry, including none other than seen Diddy Combs. Oh songs with Biggie and building a working, you know, camaraderie with Honeycombs and um, AKA Diddler, I mean Diddy. And um, why do you give him the Honeycombs? Why, why do you give him Honeycombs? Because he smacks so sweet. That fucking side of my, <laughs> anyway. Um, in another surprising twist, Jaguar implied that Jay-Z's steadfast support for R. Kelly could be linked to the notion that Jay himself might be engaged in similar controversial well, activities. Records together, you know, they made all those records together, they both, Leah, they shared so much in common. You know? When news of Kelly's heinous crime surfaced, rumors swirled that Jay-Z's PR team went into overdrive at full throttle to scrub any public traces of their once-touted friendship. 
These days, it's rare to hear anyone mention Jay-Z's joint album, The Best of Both Worlds, as if it never existed. Allegedly, Jay-Z was keen on burying that chapter entirely. But according to Jaguar, that wasn't the extent of his actions. She hinted that Jay-Z attempted to intimidate her and her family for bringing up his association with R. Kelly. Jaguar confessed to feeling genuinely scared that something untoward might happen to her loved ones. I always heard like you had some kind of CND where you couldn't talk about Jay-Z, but... I never signed no paperwork. Okay, you never signed no paperwork. I just didn't want to put my family's life on the line. Mm, so you were worried about him coming to get you? Yeah, like everybody else is. Mm, because I've seen a lot of F Rock Nation on your page and stuff like yeah, that. So now you're more vocal. What was the far. turning point? It went too far. Mm. Sean Combs and Sean Carter have been working together for the better part of 25 years to find a way to take over full control of the entertainment industry. They have been slumping and sidelining relevant hip hop communities for decades so that they can have control. Now they done killed Jacqueline Avon and they done picked up old Clarence Avon and now they running around acting like they, they remind me of fucking Macaulay Culkin and fucking the um, Home Alone. Mm. That's what these niggas is acting like out here. However, Jaguar also dared Jay to sue her for defamation, expressing her eagerness to testify and reveal everything she knows about Scene Carter on the stand. I'm gonna make it easy, sue me. Yes. I wanna be sued. Sue <laughs> I wanna be sued. Jack, why do you wanna be sued? Because I wanna have to go to court. <sighs> Well, see, I, if, I go to court, if I go to court, I got to swear on the Bible to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And I believe in the God that they say that it's all about. So I'm not going to lie. Mm. And then I get to say all of those things that I haven't said on court record in front of a judge, which could open up other investigations into other things, which is why y'all niggas want me killed. Sue me, please. Every time Jaguar speaks, the internet becomes divided between those who claim she's seeking attention and fabricating stories, and those who firmly believe she's speaking the unadulterated truth. But the truth fans have commented, who only name I know in this BS is seen aka Jay-Z people, love the negative, why is she talking about this 20 years later? Meanwhile, Jay-Z living his best life, however other fans been saying things like I believe sis, the industry been like this for many years she putting y'all on, and it's pretty much in our face how many people they go and look crazy for exposing the truth. What are your thoughts on Jaguar Wright and the various controversial claims she has made over the years regarding Jay-Z? Do you believe there might be some validity to her allegations? Share your opinions in the comments below and be sure to watch the next video.